Destiny, Louise. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to. I don't know. I'll figure it out. So we got this last thing. Rusty bent needle. It was stuck. Yeah. Okay. All right. Diary from the. Maybe there's like a, a hint there. Rain stared out the window. May 10th, 11. It's clear outside. The doctors told me I've been released, that I've got to go home. The 13th. I don't know. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I. I. I what? Oh, Lord. Uh, I'll take care of you forever. It's my destiny. I'll take care of you forever. I thought I was slick and just put all fours up. <laughs> ain't quite, uh, ain't quite the way. I like Silent Hill 2 a lot. It was the first one I played. The first one I played was, um... I think I actually played Silent Hill 4 first, now that I think about it. Because I played that as a teenager. Um, I think my brother had two during the round, around that same time. Um, but I think, <laughs> oddly enough, Silent Hill 4 was my, you know, that was my first Silent Hill game. I know Silent Hill 4 is kind of considered to be a bit of an acquired taste. Right, some people look at that as the beginning of the decline, but <laughs> um, I don't know. I like it. Well, let's try to brute force it. Eh, working? No. Okay. Oh, damn. All right. Well, let's just look around some more. It couldn't hurt. I just watch Li, Li, Laboratory do this puzzle. Oh, okay. Well, don't tell me. You know, I always gotta, I always try to figure it out on my own. I know I may look helpless, but I'll have you know I figured out the Zodiac puzzle and the Bloody Piano puzzle all by myself in Silent Hill 1. It only took me a few hours. <laughs> you know, I, I gotta say, uh, you know, of course I'm gonna promote myself here. But you really should go look at my gaming channel, uh, Super Chat Marco Gaming on YouTube, because I uploaded the videos of me figuring out the those puzzles in Solid Hill One, and it's, it's just kind of funny because it took me a really long time. But I was determined, right? I'm a determined puzzler when it comes down to it. If it takes me all day, all night, I'll figure it out eventually. But there's gotta be, there's gotta be like some significance to what happened on the roof though. Let me go back to the shower room real quick. Get cleaned up. <laughs> I like how Silent Hill 0, 1, and 3 are connected through a storyline. Oh. Yeah, I, I think uh, you're referring to how the protagonist of 3 is the, the little girl, or the little baby that the protagonist of 1 left with at the end. I don't know how Origins is connected, though, because I haven't played that. I will, though. I got to download it, so I'll probably play that. I don't know if it, I don't know when I'll play it. Though. I might do Origins next, right? I mean, it wouldn't hurt to go one two zero, right? <laughs> That's not exactly unusual. 
I don't know. I just I I always wanted to play Origins. Um because years ago when I had a PSP it was one of the few survival horror games um that you could find for the PSP, really. I just never got around to playing it. And I wasn't really a big Silent Hill fan back then either, so This stuff on the floor kind of looks important, but he's not really checking for it. Okay. Lock is... All right. I feel like such a dumbass. <laughs> I keep going back to this room. I just... I can't get over, like, why would... Why would... What's the significance of Pyramid Head knocking me off the damn... Knife from Angela. I don't plan on using it as a weapon. Huh. Okay. I gotta remember that I have that knife. Because I might need to use it somewhere. Oh, wait a minute. I was trying to check the blood before. <laughs> I was trying to check the blood before. He never checked it. Now, what does it say? Turn, turn, turn the numbers. Better not forget them. So I'll write them down here. The other one, my secret name. It looks like 9599. Normally they have it written out though. Yeah, so that's why he knocked me down. So it was to get here, but that's not why. But there had to be some significance to it. That's what I was saying, right? I'm sitting here thinking I'm supposed to stand still in the room. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, 9-5. That looked like 9-5-9-9. That first one, though, that first. Is it like a 9 5 9, nine? Better not forget them. The other one, my secret name, 9599. That's kind of spooky, my secret name. Okay, let's go. 9599. Wait, but how does it appear in the memo? Oh, boy. Turn, turn, turn the numbers. Okay. Oh, so you got photographic memory now. I ain't saying shit. <laughs> Th thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate it, you know. Always want the opportunity to try to figure it out myself, even if it takes hours, literally. So have, have you guys played Silent Hill 1 at all? Because if you did, then you know what I'm talking about, right? The, the Zodiac puzzle and the bloody piano puzzle. Did you have did you have any problems with those puzzles? Or am I just a dumbass? 9599. Then what was the four for? You're kidding, dude. I said, I'm, dude. You do all that for a piece of fucking string? There's a few, some hairs? I got a piece of hair. The shit had like four locks. That's ridiculous. You got a numeric P keypad, a padlock, another padlock with numbers on it, and a key hole for hairs, man. What? <laughs> oh. That is just like. And you know what's funny? Like I said that. I said that before. I was like, bro, if it, if 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 that um. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, combine it. What are you doing? But you know, something told me. Something told me that would be the case. Uh 
Um, yeah. Am I tripping? Of course you would combine the hair with the... It was in that box. Combine. Yeah. Oh, I see. So they, they want me to be there in the room. I got it. I actually like Origins personally. Okay. Well, it does seem... I mean, it, when I look at it, it looks like a solid Silent Hill game. I haven't seen much of it, but... You know, it, from what I have seen, it, it looks like your standard Silent Hill game. Right? Like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Which is probably the problem with some of the later games. They probably just strayed too much from the formula. <laughs> they strayed too much from the working formula. But yeah, I definitely want to check that one out. You know, I got to say, and two might, two might overcome and be, and become my favorite, right? I'm not done yet. But so far, Silent Hill 4 is, is my favorite. I really enjoy one, don't get me wrong. But I would still say four edges it out for me. In particular, because of the whole room mechanic, right? Like, just be, the whole idea of being stuck in the room, exploring the room, the voyeuristic aspects of it and whatnot. Like, so far, 4 is my favorite. I don't re really remember much about 3. But I did, I know I beat 3, but it was a long time ago. Yeah, go ahead. Put that baby in there. Be careful. That's a piece of hair. Could break. Oh, great. What is this? An elevator key. All right. That should be fun. All right. Let me check on my girlfriend real quick. She's my girlfriend. She just don't realize it yet. Silent Hill 2. It's his own thing, but James does get mentioned in other Silent Hill games via newspaper stuff. Okay. Oh, damn. That's <laughs> that's kind of ominous. You ever get mentioned in a newspaper, it's either really good or really bad. Did you find that? And I'm pretty sure James didn't win a gold medal in the Olympics, so I can only assume <laughs> where that's going to lead. So we got the elevator key. Um, I'm gonna save again too, cause that's what I do. You know, we made progress. And then we're gonna get on the elevator. And I think I need to be careful because they've shown me that Pyramid Head is here. And he's out for blood. That was pretty ruthless, man. He just, he knocked me off the damn roof. No remorse, no mercy. I did shoot him in the in the head a couple times though. Right, so I guess we're even at this point. I guess me and him just gonna have beef, right? It's gonna be like Jill and Nemesis. All right, we got the elevator key. Nah, that piano one is a problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed that one, though. I enjoyed figuring that one out because... They give you a lot of information to work with. The Zodiac puzzle, now, that that was the one where it's like, you just got to... It's almost like it's set up to make the player overthink it, right? And, I, and that's really what it was for me. I was overthinking. Like, it's so simple, but it's just whether or not you figure out how simple it is. Cause it took me a long time to pick, to get that one. Like I was in here about to lose my mind, right? And um, I, it was funny because I showed my friend the puzzle, right? And it took him. It, admittedly, he said it jokingly, right? But it it goes to show the value of not overthinking it and not taking it too seriously. 
But he figured it out in like three minutes because he was, again, he wasn't taking it seriously. He was, and he said it as a joke, but I was like, yep, that's it. <laughs> I was like, yep, you got it. That's what was so funny about it, though. Like, it took me forever, and he figured it out in three minutes. But you just got to not overthink it. Wait, where am I? I guess the fun times are over, huh? Wait, why would I come back here? I've already been here. I don't have any reason to come back here, right? Let me go back on the elevator. It sounds like bad things are happening there anyway. All right, let's go down to the first floor. Why would I need the elevator key? If I've already had access to all the floors. I got so excited about getting this key, but now I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, because that door was locked. And now I can, I'm over here. That's what I figured. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fun times ahead. Fun times ahead. This one is my favorite. Silent Hill operates differently in this game versus how it does with all the others. Okay. Yeah, I know there's like a, uh, there's a, a method to the madness of Silent Hill, but I've never quite understood it, to be honest. <laughs> right? I wish I could just feign inexperience and ignorance, but I have beaten four and three. So the fact that I still don't quite get it, you know, maybe it's one of those things where you got to like, just do deeper research, right? Into the lore and whatnot. But I've never really quite understood how Silent Hill were like, okay. In the first game, it does make sense because they, they, they kind of spell it out for you. And I think that's the first time I, I really at least kind of understood it. But, you know, I think it's more so just because um, I'm typically not a fan of, ab of abstract type horror like this, right? Where a, a lot of things are kind of up for interpretation or... You know, it's dealing with the supernatural. I tend to not favor horror like that. You know, that's why I've always, I've always kind of had a preference for Resident Evil because Resident Evil is like what you see is what you get, right? You don't, you don't need a lot of deep interpretation to understand Resident Evil. Like everything that you see that's happening, you know, is the result of, uh, you know, biological weapons, science, right? Like there's a scientific explanation of everything. It's parasites or... It's a virus. Oh, hey, it's the kid. But here, it's like anything goes. Anything can happen for any reason. And I think that just opens up another layer of confusion for the viewer. Laura? Huh? You know my name? What up? I should really kick her in the head for getting that key. How do you know about Mary? What's the big deal? Why can't you just tell me? You're gonna yell at me if I don't? No, I won't. I was friends with Mary. We met at the hospital. It was last year. Laura, I... <laughs> you might want to relax, James. But last year, Mary was already... I'm sorry, Laura. Anyway, let's go. Do I gotta escort the kid now? We'll talk about this later. This is no place for a kid. There are all sorts of strange things around here. I can't believe you haven't even gotten a scratch on you. Why should I? It's a good point. She might just be better at the game than you, James. You ever think about that? Wait, wait. There's something I gotta get. Later, okay? But it's really important. What is it? A letter from Mary. Huh? 
<laughs> James is such a weirdo. Yes, yes. And now she disappears. Well, she got a key. Damn, I told you, bro. She she's just better at the game than you. Is she gonna lock me in here? That'll be so funny and bad. Yeah, in the back. Oh, this is a classic setup. Ha ha. What are you doing, Laura? It's further back in the deck. Oh no, James, don't fall for it, man. Laura. She's a rascal. My God. Open the door, Laura. Yeah, open the door. I mean, it's a motherfucker in here with me that's probably going to try to sodomize me, but, you know, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, that's the right reaction, James. No, don't make it worse, James. <laughs> oh, no. We got problems. Oh, Lord. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's start off with the big shit. It's big dick time. Yeah! Damn, this thing takes a while to reload. I mean, the recall is intense. All right. Let me make sure I don't die here. All right. Let's do some Dark Souls maneuvering. Yeah. I'm going to circle the room. Is the other one already dead? Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. All right. I gave you enough of that. Now it's time for Shrimp Dick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, this guy is tough. Your buddy was pretty impotent. <laughs> oh, God. Why was one so much tougher than the other? I don't know. Maybe, um, is the music dying down? Oh, no. Okay. There we go. Ooh. Oh, shit. I wasted one. No, no, no. A third one. What if that's not... What if I got to just get out of here? <laughs> I didn't even think about that. No? Okay. Ooh. Damn. Yeah. Uh, whoa. Hey. Relax there, buddy. I ain't gonna lie, this shotgun is pretty cool. Oh no! Okay, I don't wanna use too much of that. I wonder, can I hit him with the stick? I know this is dangerous, but. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. I should have known better, man. That's the same thing that happened with Pyramid Head. When I tried to hit him with the stick, it was like, I know you did not try that shit. Let me grab you by the throat. I think that's it. Victory! Did somebody put her on a on a stretcher? Jeez. What the hell? Oh, that's me? What the hell? Oh my god. Alright, um Status check. How are we doing? 
How are we looking? I had those nights of unraveling the lore in this game. It's so many themes and layers. I remember after I beat uh, Silent Hill 1, I went straight to the internet <laughs> just to try to connect some of the dots, you know? But overall, again, when I was going into Silent Hill 1, I was expecting the story to be a lot more complicated. But it, again, it really wasn't that difficult to follow, which was surprising. It was a, you know, a pleasant surprise because that's one of the reasons why, again, I, I just was never all that into like or never really tried to get really into Silent Hill because I always thought that the lore and the story would just be way too much. Right. Just way too much to wrap my head around. But, you know, it wasn't, you know, at, at least as far as the ones I played so far, it wasn't that bad. Silent Hill 4 was a, a little confusing, but. It makes more sense as it goes along, for sure. Right? I think with Silent Hill 4, it just it starts off with such a big mystery, right? Because you're stuck in the room, and it's like, why am I stuck in this room? <laughs> oh, man. Like, what the hell? Why am I stuck in this room? But, and you know, Silent Hill 4, actually, now that I think about it, has a really good story. I actually like Silent Hill 4's story. Right? With the whole serial killer and all that. Okay, where are we? Oh, it's all rusty now. So is this the same hospital, but rusty mode? Like what they did in the first game? Yeah, I think, I think, well, let's go back this way. I want to finish exploring the floor. I don't want to get ahead of myself here. Okay, I think that's how you open it, right? Okay. Stairwell? All right, so they're still doing the whole, like, uh, alternate world thing like they did in the first game. But I don't know. The hospital already looked pretty shitty before. I can <laughs> just to be honest with you. It don't look much worse. The difference... Between like the normal world and uh, I, what I would call the hell, the hell world. Oh shit! In Silent Hill One was much more extreme. The characters are so interesting. Please do it for this game. For this, it's more understanding why things are the way they are in this game. Okay, so what you're saying is to to take some time to do some extra research. Gotcha. It does make me miss Resident Evil a little bit, though, right? <laughs> the cool thing about playing like Resident Evil is like you ain't got to look up nothing, <laughs> right? You just play the game and, you know, it's all there laid out for you. But I guess it's nothing wrong with having a bit of, you know, multi-layered lore for people to sink their teeth into. You know, that makes for fun times for the fandom. Whoa. Kind of like uh, Zelda, if you think about it, right? Like with Zelda, you have like those... uh like people trying to piece together the, the Zelda timeline and shit like, oh, the various Zelda timelines. Now that's a, that's a video game lore rabbit hole that, ugh, that should make your head spin. Like I didn't even know that like any of the Zelda games were connected beyond like Ocarina of Time. And Majora's Mask, because I think Majora's Mask is a direct sequel. It looks like the lock is broken. I can't open it. Hmm. Please be unlocked. Damn. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but 
I'm definitely excited to go back and play Silent Hill 3 again, though, because I don't remember anything about it. <laughs> so, I don't remember anything about that game, so. And I'm older now, so maybe I'll just be able to process the events of the game better. I feel like I just kind of just went through it. Like, I was just going through the motions and wasn't paying attention to the lore or the story or anything. I was just running around killing shit pretty much. Oh, boy. Let's keep it simple. All right. Thanks for taking care of me. The fact that he looks at the items, such a such a little convenience there. Oh, what's this? There's a piece of paper on the bed. I was locked up inside the basement's basement. The basement's basement. Damn. <laughs> Yo, if you ever find yourself in the basement of a basement, you're something fucked up is going on. It was so small and dark, and I was so afraid. I dropped my precious ring, but I would never, ever go back there. I would never go back there. And guess what? I guess I'm going. I got a dry cell battery. I got the basement storeroom key. Part of the wallpaper is torn. I can see something drawn on the wall beneath. Are those hands searching for something or are they just a sign of pain? Wow, James, you're really overthinking this. Let's check out that battery, though. When they say dry cell, does that mean it's, it's an empty battery? Just an ordinary dry cell battery. Hold up. It looks like it's the same type of battery as the flashlight. Dry cell. Is that the name or the... Oh, they're telling me it's empty, though. Dry cell. That's not a good name for a battery. I'm just going to let you know. Get your dry cell today. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You know, I don't blame them for not giving you a knife. To use like in the first game because that knife was fucking useless. Oh, damn, this bitch is tough. Please wait as I kill your sister here. Okay, whoa, whoa, hey now, I need a better melee weapon for sure, though. I died several times in the first game just trying to use that damn knife. Like, I was trying to figure out, like, how useful it was, and it wasn't very... I mean, the knife was just so useless. It was like, it shouldn't even been in the game. Even the Resident Evil knife is was... You could get more mileage out of that bitch than that. The knife in Silent Hill 1 is just like, I want to die. Kill me, please. Oh, shit! Hold up. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> it's the perfect time for the shotgun, actually. Boom! Oh, you gotta admit, that was juicy. Ash Williams would be proud. I got the health drink. I'm more of a Resident Evil guy, but I love stuff that goes over your head until you realize things. And you're like, oh, damn. Yeah, that can't be a good feeling. Like that M. Night Shyamalan twist moment. You're not going to have too many of those <laughs> in Resident Evil. You know, I, I got to say, though, one of the best twists in, in video games, period, is I, I guess I shouldn't say it. You know, we never know who might be listening, who might not have played it, but I'll just say Wesker. <laughs> I'll just say that. That was pretty good. That was one of the great video game twists of the 90s, if you think about it. I mean, who would have thought?
Looks like the lock is broken. Man, no game has as many locked doors as Silent Hill, though. That's for sure. It's the king of locked doors. Oh. Okay. This room is uh covered in plastic. What is this? A locker laying in the middle of the floor. There's something that looks like a refrigerator where you open it. Oh, God. Don't put me on the spot like that. Because now I feel like I might be fucking up by opening it. Let me look around first. Let me do my due diligence and make sure this ain't a booby trap. I don't know if anybody remembers this, but there's a part in Solid Hill 1 where you go into like a kitchen area and it's like a, I wouldn't say refrigerator, but it's like, it's something like a closet in the middle of the room and you can lock it. And afterwards you hear something in there. And I was wondering like, what happens if you don't lock that? Like what the hell, like what comes out? Does anybody know what was in that damn thing? I always wonder, like, what would have happened if I didn't lock that damn closet in the kitchen? I think it was the kitchen. There's something that looks like a refrigerator. All right, let's bust it open. Where's Maria, too? Oh, well, damn. It's no good. The door is too heavy to open by myself. Try it again. I mean, just try again. Yeah. Oh, maybe a crowbar. Oh, I mean, I can find Eddie. Maybe Eddie will help me out or something. He's pretty big. Looks like he's into the sporting stuff. Okay. Um. Yeah, no, I don't see. Basement storeroom key. I can't imagine a knife would do me any good either I wonder if that knife is gonna be like an important like item for my like what ending I get like that plastic bottle in the first game <laughs> that I never filled up yeah that really fucked me later but I had no idea what are we doing wait there's another door in there let me go back I remember when I played Resident Evil um, 1 as a kid. I never got very far. Like, I don't think I ever even made it to the guardhouse or the little cabin part, right? Wait. It says there's a door here. This is... What? That's weird. Damn, they got me tripping now. But yeah, I never, I never got very far when I played Resident Evil as a kid. And looking back, I think it was mostly because I had a bad habit of not checking the map, right? And I kind of took that into my adulthood too. Like whenever I play, especially like survival horror games and whatnot, I just have a tendency not to check the map as much as I need to. Uh, now I don't, right? I know better now. But not, like now I know how important it is to check the damn map. But back then, I just didn't know. And it's funny because the map is one of the first things you find in that damn game. Ah, but I was so young and innocent. I didn't know better. I know what you're talking about. Do you know what, what was in there? Do you know what was in that little thing, though? I can't go to two, but I can go to three. Yeah, it's like it's like a, a container in the room and you have the option to lock it but i was wondering what happens if you don't lock it <laughs> like what the hell was in there okay you know every now and then you gotta fight them with the hands 
or rather your stick, but same thing. Let's go, baby. Come on. Let's Dark Souls battle. Damn, yeah, it's it's hard to fight them with the melee without getting hit at least one time. Or two. Oh shit. I don't know if it's really worth it though, because I don't know, the it only costs like three bullets and a stomp to kill him, so. And look at the price I paid. Oh, I just don't think it's worth it. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. I, I might have to just say fuck it and just shoot these guys, bro. I was trying to balance it out, right? But they hit pretty hard, and it's hard to fight them without getting hit at least one time because they swing pretty fast, and that stick is slow as hell, and its range is bad, so... Okay. Is that an ampoule? The classic? Ampoule. There's a scrap of paper on the ground. Just some doodle. Huh? Something is written on it. She is an angel no one knows. Only I can see the lady of the door. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. Like bloated and ugly corpses, their sins, she devours them, sin and sinner alike, she saves me, she is an angel. She is an angel no one knows, only I can see the lady of the door, they cannot walk along her bridge of thread, they fall from the weight of their crimes. Like bloated and ugly corpses, their sins, she devours them, sin and sinner alike, she saves me, she is an angel. What the hell? I remember my first time seeing a bloated corpse, by the way. And you know, it's kind of a mind fuck because you watch movies and you see dead bodies in movies and you think that's what dead bodies look like. Well, you know, dead bodies have been left around for a while, let's put it like that. It's a lot worse <laughs> than what you see in the movies, let me tell you. Corpses actually like bloat and shit. It's, oh my God. Even in video games, like you don't like you don't really see a lot of accurate depictions of what a like a, a dead body looks like after it's been out for like a few days. It's locked. Oh, cool. There's a painting of a woman on the door. Oddly enough, the hand part of the painting is actually 3D and sticks out. So I must be able to like put something in it, in their hands or something. Well, I got a knife for you. You don't like this? You want a battery? Damn, got a key. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I wasn't kidding about the knife, though. Oops. Okay, elevator. Let's get out. All right, so the door has protruding hands. Maybe got something to do with the angel. Maybe that's the angel the guy was talking about. Okay. Oh my God. The bad thing about all these doors is that when you play the game again, you still gotta check most of these doors trying to find the right ones that aren't locked. Cause it's just so many of them. The fuck is this? There are empty medicine bottles here. Is this what Maria was taking? Is Maria sick now too? Oh. Maria's not here. Where could she have gone? Okay, so this is where she was at, at least in the other dimension, I guess. Your help, yeah. I know, I got hit like two times. But see, I was trying to just mix it up. Because I didn't want to spend all my ammo on them. You know, I was trying to do the responsible thing, right? You know, I'm an experienced survival horror gamer. You know, one thing I know is important is the conservation of resources. 
You know, if you have a melee weapon that can get the job done, you want to use it as much as possible over your your bullets. Right? You want to save bullets for the more dangerous enemies, bosses and whatnot. Right? That's pretty much how I played Silent Hill 1. But, um, sometimes you just got to know which enemies you can and can't use melee weapons on, right? Like in Silent Hill 1, those birds, the, oh, wow, or the flying enemies, like, you don't, you don't try to hit them with the pipe. I'm going to just put it like that. So part of it is just knowing the difference, right? You got to know who you can and can't fight that way. Pyramid head, I need a favor. Knock me off the roof again so I can get in that area. Back it on up. Oh, moonwalk. Is there really a reason to use the strafe? Or is that just like... I don't know, like some, some unnecessary movement option. I don't know. I can't really think of too many times I needed to do this. Now, the quick turn, of course, like that's a right, that's a survival horror classic. But the strafe, I don't know. You got a strafe, but you don't have a reload button. Make that make sense. I think you guys had the wrong priority, Konami. If that's your real name. Oh, okay. It's a cool room. There's nothing useful here. Okay, handgun bullets. Oh my god, you guys are taking care of me though. I'm so thankful. There's nothing useful here. Okay. You know, I was talking about conserving resources, but the fu oh shit. <laughs> oh damn it, that was dumb. I didn't realize I was about to have to reload there, but that's why you need a reloading button, man. All right? I get tired of going to the menu to reload, man. But I guess I'll do it, mom. Okay. But that's the funny thing about survival horror games. You know, sometimes I go out of my way to conserve resources. And then by the end of the game, you have like a surplus of, of items and whatnot. Right, but it's better to have too many than not enough. Let's be real. Let's not. Let's not complain about something that's not really worth complaining about. Okay. Oh lord. Hmm. Okay, so maybe I just go down the stairs here or up. Maybe I go up to the roof. Wait. I just got thrown off. Where am I? Okay, I walked right past it. Oh, it's open. Let's go. All right. Oh, look at that. The red sheet. Ooh, 420. It's always 420 somewhere, as they say. What floor was that? Was that second floor or third floor? That's third floor. So that means the roof is up next, if it's even unlocked. Well, I did unlock it in the other world, so it, I don't know. Maybe there shouldn't be a difference. There is. Damn. Okay, let's go down. I mean, it's kind of unfair. If I did the work to unlock it in the other world, why you want to lock it on me here? Shit. I don't mind running in the pyramid head again. I need a one-way ticket down to that room again. What the fuck was that? <laughs> that kind of sound like... Mm 
Mm-hmm. It kind of reminds me of the little squeakers from the first game. I used the basement storeroom key. This is the basement? I don't want to go down there. <laughs> oh, wait, no. It's, it's the basement basement that I got to worry about. Otherwise, I'm fine, right? Just, just don't go to the basement basement. You should never go to a basement basement under any circumstances. I can't imagine why anybody would want that for themselves. Nah, we're not going to the basement. We're going to the basement of the basement. There's a shelf here. It doesn't look like there's anything on it. Well, you better figure something out. There we go. Oh, there you go, Chris Redfield. You got the push strength. James. Yo. Maria. Oh, Maria. It's you. I thought you were. Sorry. My dead wife. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway, what do you mean anyway? Oh, uh, BPD. Try to save me. All you care about is that dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my whole life. You couldn't care less about me, could you? No, I just then stay with me. Don't ever leave me alone. You're supposed to take care of me. <laughs> oh boy. What about Laura? Did you find her? Yeah, but she ran away. We got to find her. Everybody in this game is you so seem unstable. To care about her. Do you know her? I've never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone. And for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protect her. <laughs> Don't give yourself too much credit. But yeah, everybody's so unstable in this game, man. Even James, right? Like we it's like we're all fucking crazy, you think about it. Like Eddie's just obsessed with eating and vomiting. Laura is a mischievous, devious little child who literally set me up <laughs> right. Like she literally set me up to die. She dropped my location for my ops to come get me. You know, then you got this BP demon here, right? on her meds or off her meds depending then you got me obsessed with my dead wife i mean lord have mercy it's a nut house silent hill one man like who's the guy the main character was harry henry forgot his name this is one of those two but yeah he was kind of stable like he was looking for his his daughter right he was looking for a dead person i mean his daughter was the reincarnation of a whatever we're not gonna go there but he was looking for his daughter and then sybil was a you know, a normal police officer, right? Wasn't anything wrong with her until she got uh, the red eyes, but that's a whole other thing. You had Kaufman. I'm sure he was up to no good, but he was like a regular dude, just probably up to no good. And then, yeah, that witch lady, she was mad. She was like the only real crazy one. But everybody here is crazy. All right, is this the basement basement? So this is that ring. Why was he so scared of the basement basement? It's like a regular basement ba Yeah, like a regular basement basement. Yeah, like the one I got. The copper ring. Okay. Um, Maybe that lady upstairs wants this. Uh, you know, the door lady. You know, I expected much worse things from the basement basement. It really did not live up to its reputation. I expected Cthulhu, Cthulhu type horrors, Lovecraftian horrors that would just distort the mind and mentally fuck you for the rest of your life. I got to do a Call of Cthulhu playthrough play for, uh, for sure, too. Not the not the new one, not the new game that came out of like two or three years ago. That was terrible. But the one that came out on uh, PC and Xbox around like 06 or something. 
That game is really good. I got to do a playthrough of that. Probably one of the few good Call of Duty or games, uh, I guess, based on the Cthulhu mythos. But a lot of games have been inspired by the works of Lovecraft, so I can't really say that. But that one is just def like one of the few that was like directly based on it, right? Like I think Alone in the Dark has some love Lovecraftian influence, if I'm not mistaken. You know about you know about the squeakers, <laughs> the little squeak and the little squeak demons in the first game. Oddly enough, most of them they never try to hurt you, but they were one of the few enemies that really scared me in that game, just because of the that damn squeak. It would come out of nowhere. Hmm. Let's give the lady this ring. I want to examine it first, though. Oh, shit. Freeze! Ah, damn. I shot her in the back. I'm like a real police officer. Where was that door with the lady at? I think it was right around the way. Come on, Maria. Man, she really spazzed out. Like she went BPD mode on me. I don't know if I deserve that, given the work I put in. Uh, but that's women, am I right? Please don't tell me I need a bracelet too. Let me examine it before I give it up. I found in the basement of the hospital, it's engraved with a picture of a spider. All right. Let's put this on. Will you marry me? No, nah, I'm not stupid. I put the copper ring on the hand of the lady in the painting. Damn. <laughs> ah, shit. She wore a bracelet, too. Oh, man. Oddly enough, I know. Damn it. Maria, you got a ring on you? I'm like you into jewelry and fashion. If you get a letter from your dead wife, you would go look. I would not go looking for it. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, that's where we differ. <laughs> I would definitely not go looking for that damn. I'd be like, what? I mean, because it's, it's, it's variables to this, right? Like, it's, it's different things we got to address. Like, okay, you get a letter from your dead, your dead wife, right? Okay, I got you. Is the handwriting the same? Was it printed out? <laughs> right? Like, I, like, okay, James seems like the type of person, like, let's assume that the, the letter was handwritten and was in her handwriting then you would have some sympathy understanding for James. But let's say that it wasn't. Let's say somebody typed it out on a typewriter. He would have still brought his ass to Silent Hill looking for her. That's what I'm saying, man. It's just, I, like, I I get it, man. You, you miss your wife, but if you know she's dead, why are you going to go looking? Why are you going to go looking for the letter? I'd be like, who this crazy motherfucker <laughs> like pretending to be my wife that's what I would think because I'm not crazy pretending to be my dead wife I should reiterate okay so I, I'm guessing I got everything out of there so I need to and I couldn't get out of the storeroom Okay. Let me just make sure. I just want to double check real quick. I don't want to have to come back here later. So let me just double check this. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not in the business of, you know, following the lead of a, of a dead woman. 
Just, uh, I think James is just a bit unstable in general to even do that in the first place. I would have opened that letter and been balled it up. <laughs> I would have been like, what the fuck? That letter would have been in the trash can. I would have been at home. See, I would have never went through this shit. Like, whatever evil dark forces are controlling Silent Hill, trying to lure him there. If it were me, they would have been like, um, he ain't show up, y'all. <laughs> like, what do we do? <laughs> It'd be like, uh, yeah, he didn't show up. What, what next? He didn't show up. He didn't take the bait. Like, I don't know what it would take to get me to to show up to a place like this. But I guess you wouldn't know either, right? You wouldn't know that the place is all fucked up. So to be fair, you know, in James' defense, it ain't like he came here. Like, I will say that. It's not like he came here knowing that it was going to be all crazy and whatnot. So I'll give him that much. Because. Oh, boy. Ooh, I need a drink. Welcome to another exciting edition of Trick or Treat. Here you either answer the question correctly and win a great prize. Okay. Or fail to answer correctly and receive the punishment. Fun. Sounds fun. Sunderland. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, damn. Eric Gein. Ed Gein. Um, I don't remember that. Crazy, right? What was that? I know for sure the answer to the second question is Walter Sullivan. I know that damn much. Um, 
I I know I don't know that third one though. I do not know that one. The name of the street. Um, the amusement park. I'm assuming it's called Lakeside, right? But I'm not certain on that. I'm only certain about the Walter Sullivan one. But the correct answer is clear. You save and then you go up there and answer the question, right? I mean, it's, let's be honest. Right? I know, I know it's not the most honorable way to do things, but you know. It is what it is. So what did he say? Uh, go up to the third floor storeroom. How do I even get in there? Oh. Like, can I get there now? Let me try to go there real quick. Through the elevator. I would like some cash and prizes, you know? I was trying to shoot James some bail. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. He's crazy. <laughs> He's a loony. He's a, let's call it what it is. He's loony. But then again, I've never been married. So maybe this is just what love does to a person. But I, what I will say, like I said, I feel like more than anything for him, it probably just was like, let me just go. Right? Like, I'll just go and see. It's probably nothing, but let me just go see. You know, you're suffering from the grief of losing your precious loved one. It's like, you know, I'll just go there and see what's up. What's the harm? Well, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of harm. <laughs> but that's about the most I can give him. Right, just kind of going on a, on a limb as opposed to, but then it's like his behavior while he's here that's bothersome because he really just like, he's like, where's my dead wife? You see my dead wife? What? I mean, I need to, to see the questions again. Like, damn, do I get on a memo? Hmm. Article about murder incident. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so they, they tell you about that there. I wonder, is all the information in these? Sightseeing brochure. No, okay. I thought maybe they would talk about the amusement park. Um, okay. Well, I'm trying to remember here. Um, so the first question was about the lake. I mean, the amusement park, right? Walter Sullivan. Oh, and it takes you straight to red. Okay. But you know that I'm, of course, going to save scum this, so it's whatever. I know, though. I push the button, but nothing happens. Oh, no. You know I can't accept that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is one of those crazy games where you can't just like fucking quit. Oh great. All right, uh There we go. <laughs> Easy breezy.
All right, so I know I got, I know I got the the second one right. Yeah, we're just gonna have to brute force this a little bit. Walter Sullivan is from Solid Hill Four, right? Yeah, he's the um, the serial killer that's featured in Silent Hill 4. I think he was like trying to complete some ritual or some shit like that. Like he was trying to do some ritual where he had to kill people or sacrifice people to resurrect his dead mom or something. I don't know, it was some crazy shit. I forget, I forget the, the intricacies of the story, but yeah, Walter was basically uh, a serial killer. It was kind of interesting um, because you see that he, he killed himself after the murder of those two kids. Right, but then he still appears in Silent Hill 4 later. Right, but that's, I guess that's normal shit in the world of Silent Hill, right? Kill yourself with a spoon, show up later to kill more people, you know, why not? Oh man, I'm getting drowsy. I gotta at least solve this little puzzle before I go anywhere. Luckily, you can save right here, though. What if the game knows you're trying to save Scum Beat It, though? Right? You know the best thing about getting it wrong, the way it, it just poos on your head? I mean, anybody with good sense would just save and keep trying, right? That's kind of what makes this sort of dumb right they go through all this trouble to give you this little pop quiz but anybody would just save and then load it up okay definitely walter sullivan Damn. <laughs> poo poo for you. Okay. This time I saved closer to the thing, so it won't be as, it won't take as long. We're going to get it though. I got to know what's in that damn box. Hopefully it's not more hair. That'll be great. Almost seems like the harder you work for something, the less valuable it is. I find keys and shit just laying on beds and on the ground. Go in the treasure chest and you find hair. Yeah, the Walter Sullivan one is the only one I'm absolutely sure of. Or maybe they put that save there on purpose. Maybe they, they really just, you know, they didn't want you to have that hard of a time. I wouldn't have done that, though. I, I would have put the box, like, in a spot where it would have been um, basically unfeasible to do this. Damn. That time, I was just guessing that. All right. We're going to get it. We're going to get it eventually. Because at least we know, too. The first question was about the amusement park. Maybe they want, like, one of each, like a green, a blue, and a red.
Ah, no. <laughs> oh, I thought it was it too. Okay. I do remember. All right, so we de we definitely got number one right. We, I mean, number two right. It's the other two that's getting me. I'm just gonna have to brute force it, which wouldn't wouldn't be too hard. But yeah, I'm just gonna have to brute force that shit. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we definitely know this. I really don't think it's it was three though. What if it was all green? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. This might take a while. I did follow so I can come back because once we can discuss lore, I'm in. <laughs> Great. I'll probably be playing this game all week. What's today? Today's Tuesday, right? Or this is Monday night turning into Tuesday, right? Yeah, so I'll probably be playing it again Tuesday night. Now what time Tuesday night? That's the <laughs> that's the tricky part. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so we got we know question two. Okay, so we're gonna try green, green, red. Now we're just brute forcing it. Do you remember the order of the answers? I don't at this point. <laughs> I don't remember the order of the answers. That's why I'm, I'm pretty much just brute forcing it now. It's been too long. I mean, they should at least give you like some type of, uh, I don't know, something to consult, right? So you can see the questions. Like, I already forgot. I only remember the Walter Sullivan one because that's the one that stands out the most. Given the fact that I'm a Silent Hill 4 expert that forgot half the lore. All right. So, what did we just do? Now I already forgot what we did. What did we just do? We already tried, like. Oh God, I forgot already what I did. Uh, ah, uh, but I'm yeah, and part of it too, I'm forgetting like what I've already tried. Oh boy, what the hell? Okay. Oh boy. Maybe I need to like write down the combinations I've already tried. Cause like by the time I get back, I've forgotten what I've done. Short term memory loss. I want to see what's in here so bad, too. Let me see. What did I try? I tried blue, green, green, right? I feel like I tried that before. Yeah. 
Okay. Alright. Oh shit, what the hell was that? I hit pause. Okay. Okay. Alright, so well I just did blue, green, blue. So blue, green. Didn't I do blue, green, red already though? And I tried blue, green, green. I had to have tried blue, green, red, right? I feel like I had to have done that. What about green, green, red? I got a good feeling about that one. I think it's green, green, red. I think it's green, green, red. <gasps> ah, no, I was so confident. That just felt right. Green, green, red. And I tried green, 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 right? Green, green, blue. I feel like I would have tried that though. Green, green, blue. All right, I might as well just, just go back in order then. So I did green, green, red. Didn't I do green, green, green? Well, at least now I know all the, all right, all those possible choices are, are gone. I better just do it because I forgot already. I didn't expect it to take me this long. That's why I wasn't paying attention. Obviously it's green, green, green. Damn, okay. So, Green, all right, so now I should do red, red, green, red, red, green, red, okay. Red, green, red. I don't have a good feeling about this one, but let's try it anyway. Red, green, red. Red, green, red. Okay. Red, green. Got it. Oh! Ah! <laughs> shotgun shell, shotgun shell, shotgun shell, shotgun shell, shotgun shell. <sighs> Woo, boy. I mean, they might as well just gave that to me, though. Come on. Who the hell in their right mind is going to sit there, get it wrong, and then be like, well, I guess that's it. <laughs> I guess I'll never know the mystery of the box <laughs> and the great prizes that lie within. <laughs> Come on, Silent Hill, dude. That was really kind of dumb. I'm not going to lie. That was kind of dumb. What they... Sh it should have either been a puzzle 
just a straight up puzzle that you have to solve because this was a problem that you could just solve through brute force right this was a, a brute force solvable you know thing right here it should have been like a puzzle that actually required you to think or something like that that or you put the box in an inconvenient location right between save points don't put it right next to a save point bro like come on don't we have to open you do have to open that fridge i forgot all about that shit. i forgot all about this shit. have i got time to open the fridge oh nope all right so that's the end of the stream i know it was so awesome but it's getting late next time i'll pull up wait a minute hold up why does it say 437 am i tripping next time I'll, I'll pull up and then we're going to open the refrigerator we got maria with us so maybe she can help um yes yeah, so i'll probably be streaming this again tomorrow night or tonight night tuesday night was it tuesday yep tuesday night or however you want to call it we had a great little stream so i'll see you guys tomorrow i mean tonight <laughs> And yep, I'm getting the hell out of here because I'm hungry. John.